finite math. In this video, we're going to talk about the break-even point. What is the break-even point? Break-even point on a graph. And then finally, we're going to look at some business problems. As you go through the video, you're going to notice some icons on the top left. When you see this icon, we're talking about the process. We'll do some examples. There'll be some for you to practice a little self quiz, and finally, what you need to do to get really good at it. Remember, it's not magic, it's math. Let's get started. Break even point. The break even point is the point at which total costs and total revenue are equal, meaning there is no loss or gain for your small business. In other words, you've reached the level of production at which the costs of production equal the revenues for a product. Here's the graph. You're going to notice that on the y-axis we have money and on the x-axis we have units. So for every unit we have the money for our revenue. You're going to notice in the very center we have what's called the break-even point. That point is when we have no loss or gain. If we go to the left and look we're going to notice we have the word loss. That means the line cost, which is in yellow, is more than the line revenue, which is in red. What exactly does that mean? It means the cost is more than our revenue, and we don't want that. If we look to the right of the break-even point, you're going to notice that the revenue line is above the cost, and that's our profit. That's what we want. And the higher the revenue is from the cost, is the more money we'll be making. Since the costs are greater than the revenue, the region to the left of the break-even point represents a loss. Since the costs are less than the revenue, the region to the right of the break-even point represents a profit. Let's look at an example. An entrepreneur invests in a new play. The costs include an overhead of $34,875 plus production costs of $2,100 per performance. A sold out performance brings in $2,875. Assume every performance is sold out and let X represent the number of sold out performances. A. What is the cost equation? To answer this, we need to type an expression using X as the variable. Do not include the dollar symbol in your answer. So how much does it cost? Well, the cost is going to be the fixed cost times the number of sold out performances plus your overhead. Examples of overhead include rent, administrative costs, or employee salaries. $2,100 is what we have to pay per performance. That's the fixed cost. Now remember, X is the number of sold out performances. We don't know that. Plus the overhead. They tell us that the overhead is $34,875. And that's our cost equation. What is the revenue equation? So how much money are we going to make? We're asked to type an expression using X as the variable. Do not include the dollar symbol in your answer. Revenue equals sold out performance revenue times the number of sold out performances. Now when we look at our paragraph here, they tell us that a sold out performance gains us $2,875. So our revenue is going to be $2,875 times X. Revenue is not the profit, okay? What is the break-even point? Type as an ordered pair. For the entrepreneur to break even, the daily costs must equal the daily revenue. Set the cost equal to the revenue and solve for X. Remember, cost equals revenue. Our cost is 2,100x plus 34,875, and that will equal our revenue, which is 2,875x. We're going to do some algebra. I'm going to subtract 2,100x from both sides. That's going to put the x on one side by itself. Now, to get x by itself, I divide both sides by 775. This gives us x to be 45. Now what is X? X is the number of sold out performances we need so that we have a break even point. That means where the cost equals the revenue. What is the revenue for X number of sold out shows? Remember revenue equals 2875 times X. 
We're going to be graphing this, so we're going to let y equals 2,875x. When we put 45 in for x, we end up with 129,375. That is the revenue for the number of sold out shows. In this case, it's 45. What will the order pair look like? It's going to look like this, 45 comma 129,375. Now it's an order pair, so it has to be in parentheses. But what does the order pair mean exactly? Well, this is the break even point where X is the number of units, or in this case, the number of sold out performances, and Y is the money that you're gonna get. For 45 sold out shows, both cost and revenue are 129,375. Why are they the same as our ordered pair? Because this is the break even point. Now, if we have more than 45 sold out performances, we're gonna have a profit. If we have less than 45 sold out performances, we're going to have a loss. Let's look at this one. A firm manufactures a widget that sells for $12 per unit. The variable cost per unit is $7 and the fixed cost per week is $1,900. The capacity per week is 700 units. Capacity means the most that the manufacturer can make is 700 units. A. What is the cost equation? Well, we're going to type an expression using x as the variable. Do not include the dollar symbol in your answer. C equals, or the cost equals, the variable times the number of widgets plus the fixed costs. So what are our variable costs? Well, that's $7 per unit times x, the number of widgets we make, plus the fixed cost. And what is our fixed cost per week? It's $1,900. What is the revenue equation? Well, the revenue equals the selling price times the number of widgets. Well, the manufacturer sells the widgets at $12 per unit times X. Remember, X is the number that we sell. Once again, type an expression using X as the variable. Do not include the dollar symbol in your answer. C, what is the break even point? And we need to type this as an ordered pair. For the firm to break even, the daily cost must equal the daily revenue. Set the cost equal to the revenue and solve for x. The cost for this one is 7x plus 1900 equals the revenue, which is 12 times x. We need to get all the x's on one side. We're doing algebra now, so I'm going to subtract x. And now I need to divide by 5 because I need x by itself. What does x tell us? What does x tell us? X is the number of widgets the manufacturer needs to make to have a break-even point. What is the revenue for X for Y money earned? Y equals 12X. Now X is 380. So we're going to put 380. This is our break-even point now. That means that when the manufacturer makes 380 widgets, they will have a revenue of $4,560. And here is our ordered pair. Remember, our ordered pair is always in parentheses. What does the ordered pair mean? X is the number of units that we need to make, or the number of widgets. And Y is the amount of money we make per widget. For 380 widgets sold, both cost and revenue are $4,560. Why are they the same? I mean, we look at our ordered pair. It's because it's the break even point. To break even, that means the manufacturer is not going to have a profit or a loss. They need to make 380 widgets and their revenue will be $4,560. Okay, this one's for you to try. You're going to pause the video, do it, and then press play and we're going to work it together. Let's look at this one together. A small plant manufactures riding lawnmowers. The plant has fixed costs leases, insurance, and so on, of $52,000 per day, and variable costs, that would be labor, materials, and so on, of $1,600 per unit produced. The mowers are sold for $2,000 each. The cost and revenue equations are shown below, where X is the total number of mowers produced and sold each day, and the daily costs and revenue are in dollars. A. How many units, or riding lawnmowers, must be manufactured and sold each for the company to break even. Now remember that the break even point is when the daily costs equal the daily revenue. 
So we're going to set the cost equal to the revenue. So our cost is 52,000 plus 1,600x equals the revenue, which is 2,000x. Going to do some algebra. We're going to subtract 1,600x from both sides. And now we need to get x by itself. So we're going to divide by 400. The question is, how many units are riding lawnmowers must be manufactured and sold for the company to break even? That would be 130 riding lawnmowers. Let's look at the two graphs, the cost equation and the revenue equation. The cost equation is in blue and the revenue equation is in red. Graph both equations in the same coordinate system and show the break-even points. Well, I already graphed them for you. Pick the correct graph. Hint, each line marked on the x-axis goes by tens. So when I'm looking at my x-axis, 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. Now, which one of these graphs is it? Let's look at the middle graph. First, let's look at our revenue line. That's the one in red. Now, revenue means how much we made. Well, if we haven't made any riding lawnmowers, how can we have a revenue? So for sure, if we don't sell any lawnmowers, what is your revenue? Well, if you sell zero lawnmowers, you should make zero revenue, right? That means the center, that graph cannot be true. If we look at the first one, and we look at the last one, we're going to notice that our revenue starts at zero. So it could be either one of those. What do we know about the x value of the break-even point? We just figured it out. We figured out that we need 130 lawnmowers. Now we need to look at these two graphs and figure out where the break-even point is. Is it in A or is it in the last one, C? To make it easier, I put arrows where we have X is 100, or we made 100 lawnmowers. To break even, we need 130. Do you think it's going to be the first one or the last one? Which one do you think is 130? Let's look at the first one. Since these are by tens, this is not even 110. Let's look at the last one. Once again, since these are by tens, we have 10, 20, 30. This is going to be it, right? Because we made 130 lawnmowers. That means this is our graph for the break-even point. What does the region between the lines to the left of the break-even point represent? This is what we're looking at. The profit when X riding mowers are manufactured, the loss when X riding mowers are manufactured, the number of riding lawnmowers that must be manufactured to break even, or the number of riding lawnmowers manufactured. Hopefully you remember that this region is your loss. What does the region between the lines to the right of the break-even point mean? That's this region. The number of riding lawnmowers that must be manufactured to break even, the number of riding lawnmowers manufactured, the loss when X riding lawnmowers are manufactured, or finally the profit when X riding lawnmowers are manufactured. Well, this one, if you remember from our first graph, is the profit. A company markets calculators that sell for $19.95, including shipping and handling. The monthly fixed cost, advertising, rent, etc., are $13,850, and variable costs, which are the materials and shipping, etc., are $9.45 per calculator. Okay, answer these questions. So you're going to pause. We have the answers. Press play. Let's work these together. The first part of A asks, what is the cost equation? Well, remember, the cost equation equals the variable costs times the number of calculators sold plus the fixed costs. The variable costs are $9.45 times the number of calculators plus the fixed cost, which is $13,850. That gives us our cost equation. What is the revenue equation? Well, the revenue equals the selling price times the number of calculators sold. So we're selling them for $19.95 times the number that were sold. Our revenue equation is $19.95 times X. How many calculators must be sold each month for the company to break even? Pause the video, answer the question, and then press play to check. Well, let's see how you did. How many calculators must be sold each month for the company to break even? Remember, for the company to break even, the daily cost must equal the daily revenue, or the cost equals the revenue. 
we're going to take our cost equation and make it equal to the revenue. Now we get to do some algebra. I'm going to subtract 945x on each side, and now I need to get x by itself. So I'm going to divide by 10.5. Now this says we need to sell approximately 1,319.047619 calculators. Does that really make any sense? Like how would we sell part of a calculator? Do we sell 1,319 calculators? Well, if we sold that, we would be under the break-even point. So we're going to round up to 1,320. So that's how many calculators you need to sell to break even. All right, I want you to choose the correct graph below. Pause the video, pick the correct graph, and then press play for us to work it together. All right, let's see how you did. So choose the correct graph below. Let's look at the first graph. If I make zero calculators and I sell zero calculators, can I have a revenue? That means if you don't sell any calculators, what is your revenue? If you sell zero calculators, you have zero revenue. So it cannot be A. It could be B. So it can't be the first one. It could be the second one. But what about the third one? If I sold this many calculators, would I have zero revenue? Does that really make sense? No, it doesn't. So for this one, we didn't have to do too much thinking. The answer is the middle graph. Here is the self quiz. The idea is you're going to do this question without looking back at your notes. If you have to look back at your notes, that's what you need to practice. A publisher for a new novel figures fixed costs at 53000 and variable costs at $1.40 per book. If the book is sold to distributors for $17, how many books must be produced and sold for the publisher to break even? The publisher must produce and sell how many books to break even? All right, pause the video. Try not to look back at your notes and then press play. We'll work it together. Okay, let's see how you did. The publisher must produce and sell how many books to break even? First, we need to find the cost equation. The cost equation is $1.40 times X because the variable cost is $1.40 per book, plus 53000 which is the fixed cost. What is the revenue equation? The revenue equation equals 17x, because the book is sold to distributors for $17. The cost has to equal to the revenue. I'm going to subtract 140x from both sides, then divide by 15.6. So this tells us that the publisher must produce and sell 3,397.43589 books. Now, would you sell part of a book? To break even, actually a little above break even, you need to sell 3,398 books. The publisher must produce and sell 3,398 books to break even. All right, what do you need to do to get good at this? Practice, 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 practice. And even if your instructor or teacher tells you that the homework doesn't count towards your grade, you still need to do it. Did you like this video? Why not like it? Did you really like it? Go ahead and subscribe. And did it help you? Why don't you share it with a friend? Remember, it's not magic, it's math.